Off to a 2-0 start, the BSU football team was red hot coming into Saturday's game against Wayne State. The Beavers were averaging over 40 points per game and were ranked 24th in the nation. And they stayed hot on a cool Saturday night. First quarter, Beavers already up three. Jordan Hine finds Brady Schmidt from six yards for six points. He led the Beavers with 64 yards receiving. BSU goes up 10. Later in the first, the gang green defense putting up some points as well. Damon Benham. Benham Picks off Zach Osborne and takes it 19 yards to the house. Beavers go up 17-0. Then they just pile it on from there. Second quarter, Hine rolling to his left, finds Blake Holder for the touchdown. Then rolling the other way, throws across his body, but floats it perfectly to Juwan Richard for his third passing TD of the game. Then in the fourth, Ty Nomain adds one of his two rushing TDs on the night, but the Beaver defense was not to be outdone, sacking Wayne State's QB six times on the night, including this one here by Alex Burgess. As the Beavers win by a final of 45 to 17, here's the team after the game. We get out there, we get after people. Uh, it was a little sloppy. Could have been uh, a little sharper on things. We were giving up a lot of penalty yards. Uh, just got to go to practice and work and sharpen up. It's remarkable um, to get off to that start. We've played some good football teams. Played well at times tonight, didn't play well. You know, it's kind of the ups and downs of the game, but we can play better, that's a good thing, and just so happy for the kids that we're able to get to this point. It definitely feels great to have that. I mean, this, this team's something special, that's for sure. And with their win over Wayne State, the Beavers continue to climb in the American Football Coaches Association poll. BSU jumped two spots to number 22 in this week's poll. This is their highest ranking since they reached number 20 on October 17, 2011. The Beavers are also off to their first 3-0 start since 2011 as well. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.